Hey y'all, so we're going to be talking about Bel Air Season 2, Episode 1, Fresh Start, and we're going to be focusing on the fellows in this video. Now, when this episode starts out, we basically pick up from where we left off, which is with Will out here mad because everybody lied to him. Now, we are going to figure out that Will has pretty much forgiven everybody for this, except for Uncle Phil, because Uncle Phil is the only person who doesn't want to apologize. He doesn't see that he did anything wrong, and so he won't apologize. So these who just aren't seeing eye to eye now if we're just keeping it all the way real they are just so much alike they're both very stubborn they are vo both very vocal and they both only want to see it their way so I mean it is what it is at this point but what we are going to notice is that Will has gotten very very comfortable in South LA he feels like it reminds him of West Philly you know he's out there with his people you know and he's just having a good time now he does want to be his own man he wants to make his own money he wants to you know show everybody that he can do this on his own so of course he's reverted to old habits he's out here you know doing pickup games making money that way and he's trying to get a scout by the name of doc to show some interest in him so that he can basically help him get to the next level. Now, meanwhile, Uncle Phil has decided to go back to work, y'all. And it feels like when he gets back to his job, you know, the guy doesn't really want him to be there. This, you know, the guy that's his partner, he's just like, you know, we never expected you to come back. But we all know that Uncle Phil had to drop out of the DA race in order to make sure that Will's secret stayed a secret. What he did for Will was not legal. It was not not on the up and up. And so he had to make sure that that didn't come to the light. And that's why he bowed out gracefully, meaning that now he has to go back to work. Now he wants to jump right back in, but I see a bigger storyline coming with this because the way that old boy was coming at him, like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You know, let's, let's, you know, pull it back a little bit. So we shall see how this is going to play out. But I'm just like, isn't this Uncle Phil's firm too? Like, aren't you guys partners? So you know, there's that. So anyway, meanwhile, going back to Will, he's uh, decided that he's not going to go to Ashley's party. Now, we are also going to see that he and Carlton have actually gotten a much better relationship at this point. Now, as far as Carlton is concerned, Carlton has decided that, you know, he and Will being a tag team duo seems to be good for his rep. He thinks that hanging out with Will has actually done him some good when it's all said and done. Now, he and and oh boy, I can't think of his name right now, but the one that he was hanging with real tough, you know, his people, as he say, they are just not seeing eye to eye. I believe his name is Connor, but don't hold me on that one, y'all, because y'all know how I am with these names. So anyway, uh, Carlton is going to run into this young lady that he's really feeling and you can tell that she's feeling him too. So Will is like, look, I'm gonna go ahead and make this happen, you know, and so we are going to see that Will is going to take them to a black student union meeting. And that's where we're going to see that she is actually the president of the meeting. And that's why they're there. And then there's going to be this young man who's going to continue to call Carlton out like, look, you only came here when you was running for president, like you really don't care. And then Carlson just has to be real with this dude. And it's like, look, the reason why is because you guys talk all of this stuff, but you have no action behind it. You don't show up to the town hall meetings. You don't actually run for anything that means anything. And, you know, Jasmine seems to like this. She's either Jasmine or Yasmin. Y'all, I'm doing this without notes. So y'all got to forgive me on these names. But she really likes it. And she's just like you know, everybody's opinion matters here. And so we can see the beginning of a blossoming possible relationship with Carlton. This is going to be good for him, guys, if he doesn't revert back to his old ways. But this could definitely be good for him. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, Will is going to need to speak with Jeffrey. Now, y'all know I love me some doggone Jeffrey. I don't know what it is about Jeffrey, but Jeffrey is just so doggone chill and cool. I just like him. Like, I like him a lot. But he ends up calling him and he wants to speak to him and he wants to talk to him. 
And then your boy Jeffrey is just going to have to be real with Will and let him know that his uncle cares about him, that he loves him, and that a real man wouldn't try to avoid the situation because all he's doing is running. He's running and hiding out there in South LA. And so, you know, Will hears what he needs to hear, but, you know, Will is still stubborn and Uncle Phil is still stubborn, so it is what it is. But, you know, G ended up losing his job trying to help Will. Was he right? Was he wrong? Who knows? You know, that could be debated either way but when it's all over with Will saw what he needed to see and it all ended up working out in the end because I felt like Will had to see who his father was for himself in order for him to believe it so he could form his own opinions and his own conclusions it's just sad that Jeffrey had to lose his job you know behind all of this So anyway, y'all, Will is going to end up running into Lisa and he and Lisa are going to have the most awkward conversation. And he's just like, you know, we need to talk. And I'm just thinking to myself, but didn't she say that y'all weren't together anymore? And didn't she say, you know, you just aren't getting it that this is over? I just want to make sure that that's what was said before I go into anything else moving forward, you know, when we get towards a little bit later in the show. So anyway, uh, they have that conversation, they agree to talk. And then you know, that's that. Now, Will is going to end up deciding to go to the birthday party because Ashley wants to see Will. And I think it's only right that he ends up going to this party. He cannot keep avoiding Uncle Phil. He just got to do what he got to do. He say he want to be a man. Then he needs to man up and go to this doggone birthday party. So that's what he decides to do. Now, JB is going to end up calling him and say, hey, Doc is going to be at this park. So he's going to end up going to the park, he and Jazz, and he's going to play ball. He's going to beat the bigger dude on the court, of course. And. And this impresses, you know, Doc a little bit, but Doc is just like, look, I'm not taking on no clients right now. And he kind of throws out Will's stats in him. And it's like, look, ever since you've been at Bel Air, you're really not the same player because you having to share the ball a lot more. So, you know, it is what it is. So Will and Jazz end up making it to the party on time. Now, Ashley is having a yacht party. Now, this is how you throw a dog on party. Y'all. Like if anybody wants to throw me a party, just go ahead and throw me a yacht party. Now, I'm not really one to like water like this but I would definitely do a yacht party I'm just saying so anyway he makes it there Ashley's extremely happy and then eventually Uncle Phil and Will have to talk you know after a little bit of coaxing from Carlton and his wife they just finally sit down and talk Uncle Phil apologizes and he tells him why he did what he did he tells him why he didn't think that he was wrong he didn't want this man to hurt him he was trying to protect him he was trying to do what he felt was best for him but he knows that he was wrong for that he knows that he should have been honest with Will so when it was all said and done they ended up hugging it out and you know these two got back on the same page so it was really good to see them back together you could see that Will was extremely excited to be back a part of the family the way you know he would put his hands on his Uncle Phil's shoulder as Ashley's blowing out her candles and she actually got her wish so I thought this was a really dope moment to see and I'm glad these two got back together but we all know that this is gonna be short-lived because I can already tell you from that trailer at the end that it's about to be a lot of drama going on but anyway not on this episode so uh, moving forward, let's talk a little bit about Jazz, because you can tell that Jazz is really feeling Hillary, but we really don't know how Hillary really feels about him all the way. We know that she's feeling him, but she made it very clear that maybe they shouldn't put their relationship out there like that, but Jazz wanted to. But we're going to talk a little bit more about that when we talk about the ladies. Okay, y'all. So when it's all said and done, Will decides that he's going to come back home and, you know, everybody's glad to have him back. Now, when he gets home he's going to get a phone call from doc now doc is going to tell him like look hey i was really impressed with you you know i really want to work with you and all of a sudden he has this 360 this 180 he's decided that he's changed his mind he's just like "Mm, like i want to work with you now and it just felt so sketch and out of place we are going to see in the very next scene that jb is going to tell him like look i'm glad you decided to work with him you know will is a good kid he's a good player he has potential and then he's going to tell him look everything is not 
not always what it looks like. And he's going to show him a picture of Will's family. And he's going to see that Uncle Phil is a billionaire. And all the red flags are starting to really, really go off, y'all. So definitely Doc is not someone who is going to have Will's best interest at heart. But we all know how Will is and we know how stubborn he is. So I can definitely see this coming to a head. Uncle Phil is going to know exactly who he is and he's going to see it for what it is. But Will isn't going to see it. And you already know how this is about to go, y'all. We're about to have drama all season long. And I am here for it, y'all. Okay, y'all, so that's what's up with the fellas of Bel Air. Now, let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Let me know what y'all thought about Uncle Phil and Will and how they came back together and how they finally got their ish together. And what do you think about this guy, Doc? How do you think this is all going to play out? Meanwhile, guys, if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to your girl channel. Make sure you turn on the notifications so that you do not miss out on any videos. And YouTube tells me that you might just like this video next. So go ahead and take a look at it. Until next time, guys. Peace.